Hello everyone and welcome back to Anno 1800. I am Obi Van Damme and in today's episode we are going to start the Age of Industrialization. Uh, after we had a pretty wonky start in the first episode, both in terms of commentary and of gameplay, uh, I would like to fix this today and start off with something that just works, which is upgrading residence. We a new milestone. Yeah, and enter the age of industrialization. So, welcome to our first workers in our city. Oh, I love how those buildings look. Also, yeah, it's still Christmas over here honest for work. some reason. That's all we ask. Yes, honest work, you will get that. But um, before we start to work on the. You restore um, a grain of my trust in humanity. Yes, Hannah, I'm happy i could help um before we try to fulfill the requirements of the the needs of the workers i would like to to finish the setup over here of the um we have rum no no it's not rum schnapps facilities uh what is it called distillery schnapps distillery yes so um we need first of all go to blueprint mode and I would like to finish the rest of the potato farms. I really hope that I can fit them in here. Let's see, we need 72. Let's see. We get 64 in here. So we need an additional eight. And I think we can get them from, this, uh, from the street over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. Okay, that looks good. Uh, and then one goes right here. This one will fill in all of that area. Uh, and it's still missing some fields. Let's see. Yeah, we need to cut into the streets again maybe not in that direction uh, although we have streets down here okay so we don't need the streets on this side this is perfectly fine so let's see that we can fill in this area and then we just need five this is four right here so let's go five in this direction and then we have some space uh, I have a bad idea. If we cut it off right here and add an additional field to this area, we can have Yeah, let's do it like this. We will add additional fields to this side. Let's remove those. Um, add two more right here so maybe we'll put in decoration or continue the path but we can now fit in the final potato farm right there and this will get all of that and then this is also just missing five so five from here and then we can fill in path to this path to here and then let's see we have some decoration you can fit in a cloth line over here and then oh this is nice flat that wagon also we can activate this one that looks just great uh no not that one okay whoops misclick doesn't matter uh, <laughs> now we have uh, way too much schnapps. Well, that's fine. Uh, it's okay. So I like how this area looks. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Uh, we now have some open space over here, but maybe we can use that later. And I'm also not really happy how that area looks. Um, this... Um, yeah, this idea that we had, where we put four framework knitters into an area, um, build some walls around it and make it look like a giant factory. I think that might work for um, Potentially for the sausages 
or for the first yeah worker industries like yeah sausages um i think it will work for soap but it doesn't really fit the vibe of the We're taking yeah of the care. of the framework managers um they should go individually so what i would like to do over here is also move them around a little bit so we can move them we have two on this side that's fine we can move over one to here and maybe one can go in here and then let's let's remove those blueprints um move this one back here that's fine and then we can yeah, we can make this a little bit more interesting. So we have a pathway in here. That's fine. We can then do something like that. Uh, and then add some decoration. Yeah, some, some hay bales. A swing. Maybe just add another road to back here. And then we can... Yeah, we can make a wooden fence entrance like this. And like that. I don't know, just some decoration. So it looks more, yeah, more like a little, I don't know, um, like a small farmer village over here. I would love to add some some farmer residences in here, um, but I don't want to have unhappy farmers and adding a complete market to this area. I'm not sure if this is worth it, although it reaches out quite far. So maybe if we have paved roads, this will increase the um, range of the marketplace. We could even add some farmer residences in, in here, which look great. So let's turn this around so we have space for far potential farmer residences in here oh, I like how this looks that is much much better so we now need two additional sheep farms so one can go here with one field two fields three fields and then the last one yeah, we can fit in the last one on this side as well. Right there. Oh, maybe this doesn't even need to be connected. Like this. And then we have enough space for more decoration. We can add another swing in here. And then maybe... Just some shrubbery. Um, and if you move this over to here, yeah, we can add. No, this sign over here looks weird. <laughs> Need to get rid of this. Um, yeah, maybe you can just add another hay bale. Oh, do we have yeah, the wagon? We can add the wagon in here. And then... Some more way. Oh, a scarecrow. Uh, yeah, and then the signpost to this side. And... A lock pile? <laughs> An outhouse. Okay, this is funny. Um... No, we have the wagon over here. We have... Can I just add some hay bales? And this time I just want to have the decoration activated, just like this. Okay. So now this area looks like a farmer's village. Um, we might need an additional warehouse. But this should fit in just right on this side. Maybe with... A fire broke out. Uh-oh. And we do not have a fire station yet. That's pretty unfortunate. Uh, let's add the fire station to here. 
Um, yeah, this is <laughs> this is really bad. I completely forgot that. Um, and now we need to wait for the firefighters to train. Um, yeah, they will handle that. Let's let's do the important stuff first and go <laughs> back to the farmer's village. Whoops. Um, yeah, I like how this looks. Yes, I know. I will. Don't worry. It's, oh. I did the wrong thing again. Now we need to activate this one as well. But that's fine. Okay, so they will hopefully fight the fire. And then uh, after that, we definitely need more residences. Um, so just like this. And then this can go here. Give you... Yeah, firefighters are on the way. This is good. Let's add all those houses. And I will speed up the game real quick uh, just to see the fires disappear. Okay, one fire is gone. We will handle the quest in a second. You honor this immortal. Yeah, but there is still fire left. I could simply go to Prince. Okay, so this is done. Let's see. What do you want? Um, well, let's take a look at the. I need at this one first. Troubles. Yes. I got something perplexing. Need uh, bankruptcy straight. is in the red. Yeah, we, I know. Do we have enough influence? Yeah, we have. The so maybe we can use it. Um, we can use something something simple we can increase our income that should draw attention away from mm. yes a little bit of yes. censorship is fine then I'll send okay and then we have the quest available uh we should find and collect stray you dogs use your newspaper to manipulate to control yes of course that's how newspapers work right uh i think free press is a nice idea and I totally support it, but not at the moment. <laughs> oh, there are the dogs. That was easy. Oh, we got wood ash. I have no idea what we can do with this one. Uh, no, not the fishery. Items. Uh, equipped in trade union affects crop farms productivity plus 30% and plus 15% number of modules. Ooh, this is great. We might use this uh, either for the potatoes or for the grain farms that we might fit in this general direction or maybe over here, I'm not sure. So I really like how the farmer's village look like. So let's get back to the city. Um, I think we could use one additional batch of housing. Uh, just like that. So we now have all the upgraded um, schnapps and work clothes. We might need an additional fishery. You can also prepare that at right now. Yeah, you can just ne go next to the other one. Uh, connected by road. This is fine. Uh, let's take a look at the production. Are we short on anything? No, we are not. We are producing yeah, way more clothes and way more fish and way more schnapps than we need. Uh, but I, I would like to increase the number of workers we have by a lot. We have 71 wood, so why not just add additional residences? We will need lots of workers uh, when we start to work on... Um, oops, not like this. On the sausages and the uh, bricks. Oh, they do not have 100% coverage. Okay, so this ho those houses need to go uh, maybe to here. They will get 100% coverage from the marketplace uh, once we have um, brick roads or paved roads. I'm not sure how, it, how they are called. Uh, but for the moment, you can't go there. Just 
just like this. Um, use the road this direction. Okay, so and yeah, we are very well in the positives. Um, this one warehouse seems to work just fine for the moment. Okay, let's see. Decoration is all activated. Let's zoom in a little bit and see how this farmer's village is doing. Yeah, that looks really, really good. Oh, there's one spot left. Hmm, what can we put in there? Maybe just a mature tree for the moment. Trees are, trees are easy. Do this. We might also start to look for decoration in the, uh, in the living quarters around here. So let's decorate the area with the marketplace first. Uh, I like to have lots of mature trees. Uh, one apple tree. And the small well. Or maybe, maybe we should move the well right next to the marketplace. And then just mature shrubbery in here. Let's activate all that. Okay, maybe we should disable uh, blueprint mode while doing the uh, decoration. No Ubisoft Club. Special ornaments. What do we have here? The Anno Memorial. Ooh, this is nice. The Anno 1602 Memorial is fine. One million pioneers monument. What do we have here? Some columns. Is this a steam engine? What is this thing called? Plowman's Glory. Oh, this is a tractor from, from the um, Bright Harvest DLC. Okay, maybe later. The Ella Fountain. This is also nice, but I think it doesn't fit the vibe at the moment. Yeah, let's add a flag post. That's fine. And the Anno Union flag as well. And then just more trees. Like this. Like this. And we have ruins in the city. Maybe I forgot a single street somewhere uh, where's the ruins yeah I forgot the street over here I'm sorry okay so now we have enough uh, farmers I think happiness should still be fine let's take a look at the at the production okay so we are still producing more than we need which is nice okay so that means uh we are <laughs> at the end of the episode we didn't yeah we had we did not make much progress in terms of uh, age so of industrialization i think we can we can increase the I wish for my people to blossom like your summer yes. garden we will increase some of those houses uh, to house workers maybe we can just increase this complete block which is fine okay um and that's it for the for the episode today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time when we finally work a on, raised a settlement. on the quarries over there. Yeah, and uh, speaking of settlement, we need a second uh, the second island um, settled pretty soon, so to prevent that others uh, get the better islands than we get. Um, but all of that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.